Bad boy, baby. Yeah. 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 As technology improves, it is becoming increasingly difficult to monitor our children's access to inappropriate music, films, and television, all of which are having a negative impact on their behavior. It is important to look at both perspectives of this complicated issue. First, we'll hit the streets of Avon High School to learn if the students really think they are being impacted by the media's entertainment. Then we'll travel to the home of administrator and parent Lori Singer and get a parent's perspective on this controversial Jordan, what's your favorite movie? Um, uh, probably The Little Mermaid. Oh, that Disney Channel movie? Yeah. It's a good one. Not Disney Channel, it's Disney. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> so, uh, would you say The Little Mermaid has influenced your life in any way? Uh, most definitely, because I used to dress up like a mermaid all the time, and I used to want to become a mermaid. But then you realize really that that's not really realized, a feasible task? I that they don't like well, it's definitely a bad day, you know? Yeah. Alright, thanks. This is Sam Holzman, Avon High School senior. Sam, uh, what's your favorite type of music to listen to? Uh, I enjoy the rap music. I enjoy it. And uh, what uh, specific artists do you like in this uh, rap genre? Um, I'm a fan of Biggie, uh, Tupac, Eminem's. Uh, and uh, what exactly do you like so much about these artists? Um, you know, their songs are just catchy and... Uh, you know, what about the lyrics? Do you like the lyrics? Uh, yes, I enjoy the lyrics. Often they're very witty. Would you say that the lyrics uh, have an impact on you, the way you act, or the way you perceive life in any way? Um, yeah, I'm sure some of my more negative language I have used has kind of been swayed by the music that I listen to and the language they use, I guess. So you'd say that their uh, language influences your language? Yes, I'd say so. Alright, thank you very much. Jimmy, would you say that there are certain TV shows or certain movies you've watched that have affected the way you talk or the way you act. Yeah, of course. Like I always quote movies, like The Step Brothers. Like if you feel my kill pillowcase, I'll drop that mother or whatever. You know what I mean? I love that. But uh, no, I definitely think you know. Like look at Alex. Alex is perfect. Every bathroom in this school is locked. <laughs> you know, it's just like I love movies, and yeah, I definitely agree. Like it, you know, has an effect on today's life. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah. Well, this is Will Schifrin, Avon High School senior. Uh, Will, what's your favorite type of music, and uh, why do you think that? Personally, I like country music, but uh, I also listen to other music, such as uh, hip hop and rap and rock and roll. And uh, why do you listen to this music? Is there anything specific about it that you like? Personally, I just like artists and songs, but uh, I feel though a lot of people get into genres of music based on their friends and based on their peers and that uh, it usually spreads through a high school setting. So you say that you think that peers have an influence on other peers in a high school setting? Yeah, and I think that really could be related to just the media in general influencing a group of teenagers or high school kids. If you really look at it, it's like kids who are swearing and kids that are doing more bad language and committing crimes in some situations are usually influenced by what lives they live and that also has to do with the media and music and movies that are releasing this kind of uh, attitude. Hi, and welcome to another segment of Fireside Chats with Will Schiffer. I'm here with Assistant Superintendent of Farmington Public Schools, Lori Singer, and we're going to ask her some questions about the uh, negative influence on children in the media. So, Mother, which media source do you see most corrupting our youth? Well, I think as far as corrupting our youth, I think that TV has the biggest negative impact overall, I think, on our youth. As far as having access to information that in years past kids wouldn't have, um, young kids have access to information on drugs, sex, various issues that they really don't understand. And uh, why do you think the uh, media has such a uh, profound effect on us? Well, you know, from the time, you know, kids are able to walk, they're exposed to television, even, even in an educational context such as watching Sesame Street or educational television, 
but that quickly evolves into people changing the channel, they get exposed to the news, they get exposed to different types of shows. Um, I've seen kids as young as kindergarten, first grade, were familiar with Jersey Shore because their older siblings watch it. So they're, you know, constantly barraged with pressures and information about things that are really beyond their developmental scope. So you're saying basically turn into a peer pressure kind of situation? Yes, and they go to school, and then, you know, if you're the only kid in the class that hasn't watched a certain show, you're going to feel a certain pressure to do it, or then, of course, you can record anything, and there's on demand. So if you're at someone else's house or even in your own home, you have almost unlimited access to um, information that is virtually impossible for parents to control. And uh, what examples in everyday life do you see the uh, media corrupt here? Well, I think that, that one of the things I've seen a lot of is girls who emulate some of the models they see on television that, that really kind of feeds into um, girls having issues with body image, some kids developing um, you know, eating disorders, and I'm not saying the media is solely responsible, but certainly if all the women that you see are dramatically underweight and that's the model that's you know on the shows they watch, that's what they're going to emulate. Um, and I think another pressure is you see a lot of shows with teenagers where they're abusing alcohol or other drugs and it's funny. And kids of, of a very young age trying to be cool look at this and don't understand the possible ramifications and they try to um, duplicate what they see, which can lead to some serious trouble. And uh, from, from your point of view, uh, do you think that uh, through people like you and from people influencing kids, do you think it's too late to change the media influencing our children, or do you think it can be stopped in any way? Well, I think the media is here to stay. That's not going to change. I think what I'd like to see is, I think, you know, some of the things that could happen is certainly network TV being more responsible with some of the things they air. Um, and I think parents being more vigilant about the access. And again, I think it's impossible to monitor everything, but um, you know, really trying to make it more difficult for young children in particular to access some of the information they do, I think could be helpful. I don't know how that's going to happen because it's a very complicated issue, but I, I think that's the answer. All right. Well, uh, thank you. We're done. Okay. Rap music is arguably one of the most influential forms of entertainment on kids today. Its growing popularity since the 1990s has proven that violence, misogyny, and drug use can be marketed as appealing lifestyle choices. It is immediately clear when listening to the rap music that is so popular in today's age that there needs to be a change, and fast. Of course, it is only fair to give the artists who create this entertainment in question the chance to defend themselves. Maybe they can provide an accurate answer for why this whole investigation is meaningless, or that their work has no negative impact on children. Let's hear from New York rapper B. Lo and see what he has to say on the issue. What up, yeah? Make it quick, man. I don't got time, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just a couple quick questions. What up, what up? How do you feel about your uh, music affecting the children in the hood? In the hood, I mean, I mean, half these kids, man, they brought up, like, they, they lived this, man. You know what I mean? Like, I did it. And man, half these kids are gonna do it, you know what I mean? Like, well, what about kids that haven't done it and they're listening to your music? Don't you think it influences them? Well, I mean, I'm saying, like, I mean, it's all, it's, it, it's not about us, man. I'm just telling my story, man. It's about the parents, man, to let them listen to this, man. It's, I mean, that's not my problem, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can I prevent, I can't prevent that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but you know your kids' idols, and if they're think if they're listening to your music and you're talking about all these drugs all the time, don't you think that's gonna you know, make them want to do these drugs. I mean, like some you? people, some people deal with it different. You know what I mean? Like, like some people listen to it and and they can just it's just a song to them. But to others, man, it's it's people's lives. You know what I mean? Like it's it's like New York, man. It's a way of life. You know what I'm saying? Like half these kids, you know, they experience what I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, there ain't nothing I can do about it. Is all the killing you talk about real, or is that just I mean, talk? I mean. Some people got to do what they got to do, man. I mean, I don't know, man. So you don't feel like your music has any negative effects on children at all? I'm not saying it does, man. I got to be out. I got to be out. MTV. Violence in films and video games is another increasingly serious issue. Children are becoming more and more desensitized to violence with every movie that they watch. According to the Media Education Foundation, by the time the average child is 18 years old, they will have witnessed 200,000 acts of violence and 16,000 murders.
Some question whether the issue at hand is realistic or really much of an issue at all. Well, what do you think? Let's look into the room of average high school student Sam Holzman and look what we found. A pair, a pair of video games, let's look. Grand Theft Auto 4. Rated mature for blood, intense violence, partial nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, and use of drugs and alcohol. Even though it may be good for business, it is incredibly irresponsible for the media to target our youth with uh, entertainment that ends up having a negative impact on their decision making. Parents need to do a better job of monitoring their children, even in a time of growing technology that makes it increasingly accessible for children to get their hands on just about any movies, music, or video games that could damage them. As we head in the future, we need to realize that this is more than just harmless entertainment. This is a serious risk affecting our children.